First cast, amigos, of 2023. Yes. And here we are with Philips and Land. Philips Persians Land Franks map. One of the best that we love to watch in Age of Empires. I'm going to remove one of the lights. Hopefully you don't mind. Hopefully the camera, since this is a brutal new camera, it still looks good even with less lighting. And we are going to enjoy one of my favorite maps for sure. Philips, Persians, Land Franks. I prefer Franks, but Persians in, in a map like this with four lakes can help quite a lot. Um, being said that, I'm going to show you guys, going to keep trying to show you the beautiful overlays. Hopefully they are going to work. Uh, Persians and Franks. Okay, and it works at the first attempt. What the hell? 2023 and it's starting great. Well, Persian civilizations start with 50 wood more. Food, the tone center, the docks, double hit points, war rate 10, 15, and 20% depend on feudal, castleage, and imperial. Many of you might know, but many of you don't. While Franks is a very, very smooth civilization with the Frank bonus, uh, bonus uh, with the berries, and well, scouts more HP, uh, all farm bonus for free. Fantastic, really, really fantastic. And remember, guys, that we have this New Year resolution that is pretty sick, amigos. Pretty sick with the 2.5K resolution. By the way, I didn't remove the, 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 the moderator, the, the moderator, the, the mod with the trees. But still, this map is extremely open. And definitely, this is the difference with the Persians. You go for the dog early. <coughs> the most... Important wood is in the middle, but this is quite open, actually. Yeah, a lot more open than usual, because you see a lot more wood. There's a lot of space here to attack. I would love to see. I think it would be very good that Lan get the game a little bit more serious again. I hope that he's going to make it, you know, because he's a quality player, you know? He's a really, really quality player. Yeah, okay. Let's see. He's going to try to push now the deers. Tell me, guys, I, I need to, to check this because since I am casting in a very big monitor, for example, this, this zoom out, for me, it's it's extremely big still. But probably for you, probably for you, it is still too far, right? Give me your feedback because I, I need to, to, to think about this, you know? And, and maybe I should just zoom in more like this. You know, more like this most of the time. And well, try to get closer with battles. I don't know. I don't know. We have to. I mean, it's difficult because I'm I'm casting in a very big monitor. So, yeah. Anyway, for the battles, I will try to get closer. This is anyway an overview. So you see the goal that is between the wood and the TC, the berries in front as well. So it's good to have this distance. Ben, I will try to zoom in when the battle happens with the quick walls and all the stuff. Okay, we have six on wood right now, another five villagers, and uh, here what? Already with few fishing ships, man. All right. Well, he went for fish as well. Land was uh, a little bit slower, obviously, because Persians uh, had the bonus. That's why he's ahead with the population. He's doing the loom. And he's gonna have one population more, probably. Okay. Okay, okay. Three, four fishing ships. Four, fish, four fishing ships is quite a lot. It's, it's a great, it's a great boost. He's gonna have three, and he's gonna go up a little bit slower. It's already walling here. This is what it's uh, uh, doing. Let's see. These four lakes in uh, Atacama, as I said several times, it's, it gives a little bit more economy. Well, or a lot more economy, and then a slower pace in the game. But still, it should be it should be crazy an oath. It's gonna make a second lumber cam. Yes, it is. Second lumber cam. Five, six, and five. Eleven villages of wood. The same. Twelve villages of wood. Whoa. Well, 
Don't even make the mail, obviously. But not doing the mail with the francs is negative, you know? It's definitely negative. What the 86? Thank you so much, amigo. Let's go. Happy New Year. I forgot to play the, the ad and the ad will appear, but uh, the ads are going to be at least on January, thanks to to Twitch offer. It's going to be less ads than the, the last month, which is great. I hope so. Okay, now we're going to have the dock here. It's the second dock. This is what I don't like it. Man, all fish, man. But second dock and it's stable already. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's a great economy, man. That's seriously great. He's going to have the barrack already. And now, we'll see. Where's the stable? By Okay, the stable is not close to this area. He's, he's, he's walling the, one of the wood lines. And now he's going to probably wall like this. Well, with some um, imagination, you can be a good architecture. And the stable is going to be there. Let's go. Double Vitas and Horse Cola for free. Remember, now going for the scouts. Scouts as well for his opponent. And the scouts and the spears are coming. He's going to make a spears as well. He did. So both are doing exactly the same approach. But second dock already. And more fishing ships. That's going to give some boost. And it has already a boost. Yeah, he's two fishing ships more. Very strong. Very, very strong. Doing the mill already. No mill. Well, eh, now he's going to benefit. Oh, my God. Look at the walls he's doing. Interesting. He's walling completely his base, man. He's walling completely his base. Yeah. And that happened because of the fish, actually. Yeah. Because it, it makes that the attack is slower. It is definitely slower. Bill is on the TC. Yes. You don't want to go or you will lose it. No, no, no. You have to control the... Uh, the military, the house is not done. He should do it, but look at the wall he's doing. Walling the whole map land. Playing safe, but now he's coming with the tower. I like it a lot. They have another lumber camp, but this is annoying. He, it needs four villages. Don't think he needs four villages. Obviously, he wants to secure that tower up. He's going back or not? He has to be careful. He has to be careful. The tower is going to be up. It's going to be very annoying. But these kind of towers always happen. And now, he's going to move to this area or maybe a lumber camp here. Eh, he will distill with one lumber camp only. For now, no note any kill done by any of the players. These kind of situations, he's going to snowball a lot. He's going to make another dock. He will. And he's fighting now. Those spears. Taking the initiative, he's gonna get more HP. That's why he now needs to go back. Population, Philips, as as Persians, six villages more, man. What the hell? That's crazy, actually. I mean, Philips, 35 seconds idle TC, and he's still ahead. Ten fishing ships, while well, only three. Oh my god, that's huge, actually. Yeah, obviously the fish is not gonna be working forever. So it's not going to be that efficient. And he has 11 farmers while his opponent has 7. Having a lot of farms helps a lot in the long run. I think this is open. Oh my god, what a fail, man. What a fail by, by Lan. Oh man. Oh man. He didn't wall. I mean, you wall all the map and then you leave this open. He's taking one village. He's going to take the second. Now doing a small palisade. Three spears are here. He lost already two villages. And that hole has been huge. Now he's coming and trying to attack at the same time. And this is where now Atacama is noble. Yeah, he take a village now. 2-1 on those villages. But the economy, man. Uh-oh. He's going to lose another. Going to lose another probably. He did, he did it. The spears are there, but... This is a disaster for Lan. A real disaster for his economy. Because the scouts are inside. He's being annoying. Now he's doing a blasphemy. Okay. He might take another one. Here. Yeah, yeah. He will. He's already four villages. And this is a very, very sloppy play. I mean, it can happen. Do you think that you build it? Then the foundation is there, but you didn't kill it. You didn't finish, sorry. And now it's 11 villages more. 
He's crazy. Well, it's not about the kills, but he has four villages more and 12 fishing ships. 12 fishing ships, man. What the hell? Well, only three here. Then he got five, even fish traps already, and seven. I think it's too much, honestly. Seven fishing ships, but still. His economy is going great. Economy for blue is not really too far. He's definitely not too far either. So go, both are going to go up to Castleish. I insist. I know that I say it several times and might be boring for you guys, but I think the lakes don't benefit the gameplay for, for Atacama. Just the opposite. I mean, there has been action till now, but has been a lot more about the macro. And Atacama was always aggressive. Aggression, aggression, aggression. I mean, they are attacking because the map is open and they have to attack. But they go a lot more for Castle Age and the KD is not a huge one. He took out so four villages because he made a mistake here. If not, the Echo KD probably will be 1 0 for Lan. Okay, now the scouts are coming. They need to go back. Two spears, three spears in this area. Have to be careful. I think he's gonna commit. Yeah, he's gonna kill those spears, but kill a villager now and it's 4 2 in the Echo KD. Not a big deal on the kills, but this fish. He's gonna give a lot. Well, if you do all the fish traps, yes, it will. Okay. Good thing. No. Amazing thing is that he has his opponent out of the goal. So right now, Philippe's that is doing the blast and another stable. He will have no goal and no while he has 1,000 food. He has the he has the the market, so sell some resources, but he should make a mining camp here. Yeah, why not? He should do it. Okay, second is stable. Let's kill Bardin Armor. So, in the long run, it's gonna be better here for Lan. He should be better for sure. Let's see. He has now doubled the army. He's gonna take another villager. Yeah, he's playing good, Lan, now. He's playing really good. Crasso, 22 moons. Thank you for the prime. Awesome. Okay. He's gonna take this one. He has to be careful with the knights. And the spears are used. Hmm. Look at the attack. I don't cast in Pikeman Upbraid, Bozo, going all in. I'm gonna take a tone center here. Okay, I will do it here. Stick take the Lambert Cam and maybe make the TC and then you kill the tower. But he wants to go to the stone. Interesting. I mean, Franks. Very smooth civilization. He has to be careful. Many spears, but now he's gonna be pikes. And with those pikes, ooh. And with the attack, man, with the plus to attack, even Squires now, wow, he's going all in. He's doing the monastery, and I like a lot more now the approach from Lan. He's behind in villages, yes, which is not surprising being with, with uh, against Persians. But the amount of farming he has, the composition is just fantastic. He has double the knights, he has uh, a lot of pikes, while his opponent has no pikes, and this is looking good, man. This is looking really good, really, really good. Okay, husbandry. Welcome everyone, guys. Happy New Year. Hopefully you enjoy with your family or your friends, whatever you prefer. Now we can tune in. I mean, we are not gonna change too much, right? We are going to keep going strong with the castings, and uh, well, we hope that it's gonna be a uh, start of the year with a lot of a lot of content, right, guys? A lot of content. Okay, pikes. Knight and, and a scout on top of that kill. And here we are with a lot of knights by yellow. Those knights are only plus one, plus one. I think this knight is dangerous. You have to be careful. You need more knights to commit or you might lose the pikes. The pikes are plus two, but those knights are going to dominate, man. This is incredible, man. Look how the knights eat the pikes nowadays. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Did you notice that? The pikes are kind of useless. I mean, the pikes are helping. If you have two, three under the TCs and you are getting raided, you might avoid the raiding like this, but in, in, a, in a big battle face to face, it, it seems that the pikes just don't do anything anymore. Yet the knights dominate. Seriously. Alwin Montero, how you doing, man? I saw your message on Instagram, by the way. I saw this morning when I was kind of uh, cuckoo, and don't worry, man. I know that the music market is difficult. Don't 
worry. He was worried, guys, because he has been always tired three subscriber and now he's not. Don't be shame, man. I mean, what the hell? It's all good, man. All good. He wanted to tell me, man, I want to come back. Tire 3 as soon as possible. Maybe I shouldn't say this because now you're going to feel bad. But don't feel bad. Use the opposite. You should feel proud, man, for being so kind with me. Awesome. TC here on the wood. And one, two, three tone centers while yellow. One TC only. Chain Barden Armor. 18 Knights. Whoa. He's trying to make a brutal one TC push. I hate those one TC push, guys. It's too many Knights. He has some monks. The conversions is so important. The TC is going to help. He has also two monks coming. This is crazy. The problem here for, for Yellow is if he's not killing, then he's over, he's over for him. But he might be killing. Oh, my God. Oh, my really God. Okay. Yeah, he's doing fletching. He's doing fletching because he's helping with the TC. But no, no, no. You have to be careful. He's under the TC. He's not helping. He's going to lose another villager here. And uh, Lam might lose the game here. This is crazy how the one TCs can work. I don't know if he's going to be able. He's still doing some knights and pikes. But his opponent is spamming knights for how many? How many stables? Two stables. Oh, my God. It's incredible, guys. It's really incredible. And now raiding more and more. He's trying to convert and convert it. He killed another. The monk, you need to go home. You don't want to lose it. He's going to make more barracks. The pike seems to be not working. He has to stabilize. He has still three billions more. Good thing is this DC is working smooth. Okay. That's crazy. Where's the goal, by the way? It's not having goal. That's another big problem. Another big problem. But he stopped at the push. And this is what can cause the game for Philippe's. You need to keep going all the time, non-stop. Villas on this TC again. And numbers, 10 knights. But he has no armies. He, he can go again. He should go siege, maybe. Yeah, he keep going. Okay. I think, guys, the players that are usually less skilled, this, use this kind of strategies, one TC. They are so, so strong. Super Snowball. I don't know if he should use Minus Stone now because he needs to stabilize, but Yellow is stopping the push. If he's not going soon, Lan will stabilize and will have army again. He's doing more monks. Well, he's coming again with 13 knights. Maybe a second monastery would be good. I don't know. But he's doing more barracks. Spamming pikes right now. Okay. Thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Oh, a few scouts. This is huge. I mean, if you can kill villages with, with scouts, with pure scouts, not even light caps. But yellow is not going, man. It's not attacking. Ay, ay, ay. Well, it's still an oath army to destroy. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Mining stone, 33 farmers. 17 on goal, doing more monks. I think he should do some knights, but he's not doing. He's just only doing pikes. And how many barracks he got? He got three barracks and he's doing pikes for one. This is crazy. He's going to lose, man. Yeah, he's coming again. Yellow is coming again. Okay. Let's see the conversions. He has the pikes. He has to convert. He has another monk. If he converts a couple of knights, maybe he's going to be able to do the job. He converted. Conversions have helped a lot right now. He's under the TC. Plus two pikes. The knights are not a note. I told you that he waited too much. He definitely waited too much. He's going to kill another monk that's very, very strong. Really important to snipe the monks. And now, with the pikes and under the TC, Lan is stabilized. 20 villains more. And total and brutal domination for a start the 2023 by the Spaniard. Yes. Yellow got... The timing, the momentum, the momentum, but he wasted. He definitely wasted. Yeah. He could do it. And now he's going for Rams. No, okay. Scorpion's better. Yeah, but the next one is going to be the castle. Lan is going to make a castle here and it's going to be the first game from the Spanish player. In my opinion, at least. 488 is stone. Do the castle and he's fine. He's going to make it or not? He can do it right now. He can do it. Now, now, now it's impossible. It's really impossible. 
Lannis stabilize and the castle is just happening. With that castle there is domination. Okay. Oh man, now it's cold. What happened? Uh, that's because I don't feel yet great, guys. I don't feel yet great and I don't want to. I'm being sick, guys, and I don't want to. Don't want to be sick, guys. Don't want to be sick. Yeah, this is kind of impossible. Let's move on here. Well, this is a great raiding. It's killing quite a lot of villages here on that TC. The army obviously is out of position, and now no TC. He can kill a lot. He does have mobility land. He has to have a lot of villages more, but this is completely safe. He's raiding. Ready, man. Oh, why he didn't kill those villagers? I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah. Now it's so difficult for for yellow. Yellow is gonna keep trying. But why, guys? Why he's not doing more TCs? I mean, at some point the one TC makes sense, but I don't understand anymore. Like, why no more town centers? Right? Like, in the meanwhile, you 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 just keep raiding, but do more economy. Yeah, why not? 64 villages on one TC still. Okay, he's doing. Seems he listen a little bit. I think he's a wall this area. He's not walling. Population for Lani is still huge advantage now. He's even taking relics. And soon he can drop a castle forward. He's gonna make more TCs now, but it, it feels late to me now. I don't know, but it feel it really feel feel late. Yeah, okay. Knights are coming here, staying at, at home right now, because uh, Lan got 24 pikemen. 24 pikes, but guys, 50 villages. 90. It's so weird gameplay. Like, I mean, I understand the first... No, but this castle is so... So safe. You could go even... Well... Much farther, man. Here, man. I mean, on his face completely. Oh, my God. Do you think he has monks? Well, it seems so. Ah, he's completely over now. Look at the amount of army. Double the population. It's not the first time I see him. Philips has played more or less like this more than one time. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy that he is still on below 50 villages. GG call. Well, land dominated with the macro. Uh, Philips was trying to make a 1TC push, but he stopped it. And then he didn't follow on doing economy. It was a good attempt, but, you know, it wasn't an oath. It definitely wasn't an oath. And, uh, well, it was over with this one. Statistics. 105 kills for both, which is a lot. Economy. You can see land already with a lot more food, which is normal. Like, 98 villages, 54 is crazy. It is really crazy. But let's be honest. Lan playing his best should never lose against Philips. Not often. Lan, for whatever reason, has been away from AoE. But if he's back, he has potential to be very, very, very ahead. You know, on the top, top 16 players in the world, it's possible, you know. He was there already. Let's see if he's going to be back. Game number two, guys, is, uh, you know, my least favorite map. And uh, it's going to be removed. It's one of the last times, if not the last time that we're going to watch it. It's gone for the second season, which I'm very happy. They have removed this map. It's a very trash map, in my opinion. It can provide some good games. Yes, it can. But the start is so annoying. At least for me. Japanese and Dravidians. Let me just show you the civilizations, if I find them. I think those are the saves, right? Yeah, man. Beautiful. Well, two very standard civilizations to be here. Japanese, we all know. The tanky fishing ships, you know. The dogs are so working faster as the Aspersians. And Dravidians, that not only get 200 extra wood, fishermen and fishing ships carry 
plus 15. And that's, that's a lot. You know, that's a lot. Really, really a lot. Okay. Well, the thing here is you start with the TC on this small, I don't know, how to call this? It's mini base or how to call this? It's small land. Uh, I don't know how to, to, to call it. And then you have to be moving villages all the time. So transport villages constantly. You know, a small island, you know, right? I don't know how to call that death trap. La trampa de la muerte. I'm considering, guys, to add this year for, for real one day in Spanish streaming, but I'm not sure, guys. I mean, I would like to stream in Spanish because it's my language, but um, all my viewers are in English. And that's why I never make for real the attempt, you know? And I don't know if I'm gonna make it. I'm considering. We'll see. We'll see. Six villages. Okay. Now doing the dock already. And, well, for now we have to wait. You know, because this is just... Uh, micro in the villages here, taking the food. We have to see the build orders. Five villages on wood, six villages. And fishing ships. The thing here is, they are very close. They saw each other. Yes, they did, actually, both. So, landing here is going to be very difficult. I mean, the player has to be aware. Really, really aware. Okay. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Is he gonna make here another lumber camp? Or is it gonna be uh, the male uh, shortfish? A male on the berries, and then you take the. Yeah, I think the male. Oh, well, the dock. I'm stupid. Because now you can drop the food on the dock. I forgot. Sometimes uh, you forget about the new things on, on the game. Remember that this has not been like this forever. Okay. And this is why, like, it's very hard to cast. Because what can I comment here? Okay, they are still producing values from the TC. I'm moving them from the small island to the outside. So, till there is some battle, like, here is basically nothing to do. Like, you cannot even lame here at all. It's true that we are only in seven minutes, and they have done everything they have to do right now. They have explored their opponent, and, well, it's still not moving now. He has nine villages on the shortfish here, Philippe's. Maybe it's too many, because at some point it will be, yeah. Now you need to go now here and, well, or any other spot, but to go outside, yes. Perfect. And now it's Palisade in this area. The good thing here is that blue, it's having already... Oh, but yellow is even faster. Nice. I didn't notice. Very nice. I mean, the strategy, a good strategy is if you can kill the fish and you keep your, your fish alive, then you, you have a big advantage. But that's going to be difficult, you know? Very difficult, even more being that close. So, other position, maybe try to go land uh, with archers. But it's tricky because it's not so difficult to wall. Like, you can wall this area safe. Wall this area safe. So you have the gold and the wood safe. This one, well, you are close to the, to the dock. This is wall as well. It's not easy to, to, to attack. Thanks to the, the, the generation, the shape of the map, you can really wall properly. So, yeah, it's difficult, you know. Yeah, but uh, the forward tower, I mean, you have to surprise your opponent. But he's doing the dock, you know. You know that he's there. Like, it's just expected. He's there and, and he's coming. 
And then what, uh, what Lan is going to do is defend. You know, he's doing the dock. He will do galleys. He's not even trying to go. He will try to defend this. Doing the third dock, and when he defend and kill, then he will try to counter attack. We'll see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. At the same time, you need to keep moving the villages, otherwise, they are idling. And you don't want to be idle. Definitely not. Yeah, the third dock is here, but this is bad. Oh god. Now he's gonna finish the dock. Fine. Now he is just attacking the TC. Seriously? And three dogs for Philippe's. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's go to blue point of view. Fog of war. He's going to have with two galleys, but he did a micro. Look at yellow. What the hell? Yeah. Okay. Micro so important. One demo. He's coming with two. He can take that one. He's moving it back. And another one here. Oh, seriously? Oh my god. He didn't even repair properly. Now just go back with both. And demo is coming. He killed the villager, man. That's very smart, honestly. But he has another. He has another. Obviously with one you cannot do the same job. Okay. And this is all about... Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that was a good demo. But it's still two galleys, two galleys. And uh, at the end, I don't think that Yellow will win this battle. Or maybe he can. Oh, God. Look at the demo. Look at the demo. And that was a weak one. A weak demo. Yeah, it was bad because he got two and really didn't do the job. He's gonna kill that one. He has three villages. You repair that one. And he got it. Yeah, he lost already. Or not. Eh, it's close. Oof. Oof. Villages, 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 villagers. And he did the, did the damage. He's coming with more and moving. So annoying. I mean, I'm sure this is annoying for the players. But they're still picking because. Usually, got it. Usually, the lower player pick always this against the better player because it's a map that anyone can really lose, you know? Galley down, galley down, kill us now. This and these three dogs already to the damn hell. Yeah, he's gonna take it. And oh, he lost that one, but he take it. And now. All the advantage. Blue got it. And all the three dogs. Well, he's going to keep going, but he lost so many. Look at the KD. Now he can just keep doing galleys, try to kill the... Try to destroy the dogs. And uh, as soon as he can, maybe just go and try and, and also make a, a dog on his opponent. But land economy, much better, as you can see. It is better. It's probably didn't macro that well here. How many fish? Five. Actually, it's the same fishing ships, but for some reason, the economy looks great for blue. Well, great. You know, two demos, three demos. That's why he split those. Those units. He could, he could take the short fish. I don't know why he's not taking. Now he is. And he's sending a few demos as well. Population is almost the same. And uh, economy is similar now. What is this market? You are over the market, man. But you understand why is the map is boring, you know? Because there's nothing else, you know? It uh, makes no sense, you know? It really makes no sense. And I don't know why... I mean, I, I'm very happy that they have removed for the second season. But when a map is like this and you see that it's basically this, we shouldn't be ashamed to just remove from, uh, from, 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 from the tournament. Like, yeah. Okay, careful there. And in one tournament that I did, 
one map wasn't working and we remove after after the first uh, the first week it, it was bad man and yeah anyway doesn't matter because he's gone he's on the way to castle edge now so has been 19 minutes fighting in this in this pond he's coming now and repairing those okay now he's coming with the demo Ooh. well you, you you have to attack yeah and he's gonna take it ah, he has three versus two i mean if he's repairing he's gonna take it got it now i'm going to repair that one he has to go with the second one too and it's still no galleys and then now this timing be now in um, in castle is faster he has no buildings yet Philips, it gives the game already to land at least the water here you know because he's gonna make the war galley upgrade and nothing can be done 11 villains on goal okay Mem, you are an institution thanks for all you do for this community <laughs> an institution that sounds too old and serious man aye 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 Thank you so much, man, for the eight moons and for your words. Well, I don't know if I want to say thank you for your words, but thank you. <laughs> All right. Five galleys. Happy New Year, by the way, for, for you and for everyone. Got it. Oh, yeah, for example, we remove Haboob. Yeah. I mean, we thought that it was bad for, for Boa, and we removed Haboob, and then we, we brought it to Arabia. We, we put it in the qualifiers, I think, Haboob, but then we didn't have the, that map for the main event. All right? Because we, we thought that it was a bad one, and why to keep it? Just to, to think like, oh, we, we did a bad job, but the, if, we, if we admit that it's bad, well, nobody's perfect, man, and you can make mistakes. You fix the mistakes, and that's it. Anyway. Boso. How many galleys? Oh, we're galley upgrade, man. Oh, he's doing nice. Very nice. Let's go. Double stable. Finally, we're going to see some action. So, Glil, another gift, man. There's a lot of gifts already in the channel, man. Awesome. Uh, he's attacking the dog by mistake. He's not attacking the galley. Look. Look. And he do not notice. This is crazy, man. He do not notice. He says... And now he did. Okay. Okay. Japanese is going now with the knights. Remember that there's no mobility on... Uh, on the Dravidians. Dravidians that has already three tone centers. And again... Uh, Lan is going for the macro. Well, Philips is now going aggressive. But the problem here is, since you have TCs quite far, you are not going to be able to really... Oof. Oof. He see the knights already. Okay. House and Palisade. Yeah, his wall. So the knights are not going to do too much. If he's doing few knights, then Lan will have... Yeah, few monks, sorry. Lan will have a huge economy advantage. And you can see, guys, how Lan has never attacked his opponent in the whole game. He never did. He's booming. And probably just booming will win the game. It's a possibility. He has double monastery. He's coming with a siege war shop. Okay. And uh, he is still on 1 TC, Philips. He's going to make more tone centers. Or again, a 1 TC push. Obviously, now... It's gonna be a dangerous position here again. Chain bard in armor, seven knights, while blue just doing monks. He has nothing else. This second TC is fantastic. Yeah, it is very good because. Uh oh, he's going to convert a knight? He has to. I hate the monks. The, 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 the non conversions, you know. So Palisade a little bit more. Uh oh, okay. Uh, he's gonna lose few villagers still. He has the monks. 
is still raiding and he need to do a massacre. But we have seen how strong is booming. I know that the score now say that Philips is ahead. But I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see the idols. And the boom, 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 guys. Boom, boom, boom. But he failed again. He's failing again. And that's really bad. Oh my god, this is really bad. This can cause the game to land. Okay, he walled now. Doing more monks. And I wonder why he's not doing pikes now. He should do barracks. Still, he's gonna have four tone centers. He almost failed again, but he didn't. He deleted this DC. I like that. Okay. I'm not sure if monks only is an oath. He's coming with two knights. He has to convert. If he converts a couple of knights, he's gonna... Oh my god, that conversion. Oh my. Well, he stabilized already. At least nine knights, two knights, three monks. You convert and another TC. Holy moly. Guys, yellow is not even with a one TC push, guys. Yellow is not even with a one TC push. It's a zero tone center push. You know, zero tone center push by... By yellow, he deleted the TC and he's not even doing a tone center. I mean, seriously? Unbelievable. Seriously unbelievable. Well, he has to be careful. Okay. Need to finish that siege war shot. He's defending with monks and siege. And as he remembered that you don't have the best monks with, uh, with Dravidians. But in order to convert the knights. When the night has come, the villages are gone. Lan already with 15 villages more. And he's crazy, but he's defending Jews with monks. And he's microing everything, man. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, yellow is dying, man. Yellow is dying, amigos. Let's see the monks. You have to be careful with those. Need to go back. He lost another monk on his base. And now he got almost the same knights than his opponent, guys. Taking the Magonel. He's going to convert another. But he can send the knights and the game is over, man. He's crazy, man. He converted everything. Instead of doing light gaps, he keeps doing knights. He's getting converted all the time. Love me some man. Oh, man. Seriously. He converted all, man. Why he deleted the TC? Blue deleted the TC too. Because the TC here, you have to transport all the time. And it's so annoying. So they delete, man. They delete, man. Aye, aye, aye. Now he's gonna kill the monk. Got it. Kill the siege and the game is over. <coughs> yeah, he has the same army. And one player has now one TC. The other has four tone centers. He has knight and monks. Because he converted so many men. So many. He got ten and now five, five spears. But, well, maybe some elephants would be good. Yeah, score is similar. Oh my god. You know the, the funny part here? Look at the Echo KD killed by Philips. Look at the Echo KD killed by Philips. 27 2. And he is still 21 villages behind. You know? 21 villages behind. How do you explain this? Like, seriously. Okay, yellow is coming. And he's coming now with a lot of villages. That means he's gonna drop a castle, but man, when you have seven farmers and six villages on goal after 33 minutes, you know that that castle, it will just extend the game more than needed. Because blue can just move, and he will move if he's able to do a, ca a good castle. Where is he gonna make the... Yeah, the castle here, and I'm a, a dreamer. Ah, come on, man. Disillusional, man. Okay, here is more realistic. Now he's coming. And... He's coming with the knights. Let's see the monks. He's going to convert. Or he's trying to convert. Let's see the micro. He's going to convert so many or not? He convert quite so many and he's gonna kill all. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, he's dead completely, man. He's gonna not even make the castle. He convert everything. My goodness, man. Well, what a total and brutal domination by Lan. Seriously. He has destroyed his opponent. He killed everything, converted all. He smiled because you have to smile. And Lan did a brutal masterpiece here, destroying him. Seriously. What the hell was that? Oh my god. I mean, 
let's check the conversions because that was whoa like seriously military 12 conversions which is a lot in a short period Philips 27 army 24 economy obviously much better and guys land won this game without make a single barrack you know he didn't make a single barrack in the whole game look he did five tone centers double monastery and siege workshop and with that he won the game not a single barrack not a single military building domination game three let's go game number three arena guys and i will also try i will stop one of the lights because it's too hot still oh Khmer! what the hell land surprise and he beat Khmer. very interesting and surprising man really really surprising for me okay looking forward to another great year hype thank you so much man polls let me just find polls and Khmer. i didn't expect Khmer. i don't think Khmer is a great one here but obviously depend a lot how you're gonna use it i believe that the land is gonna try to go sick boom but i prefer burgundians you know all right so i don't know man well, let's see could with elephantos i wouldn't be surprised that he just go full boom and try to out boom poles which is difficult because poles is insane but let's see let's really see i mean i prefer poles poles got bomber cannons and even like Khmer just got elephants and hussars pretty much yeah i, I don't know i'm surprised Having Burgundians, I'm very surprised of this choice, but maybe he's gonna make some crazy strategy. Let's see, guys. Let's see. Okay. Going for the board. Obviously, the, the start is slow. I will have liked it that they put nine villages starting these maps in the in the tournament. I think for. I can understand that there's people that just prefer to have a standard settings, which is fine. But I think that uh, I still think that the future could be easily the nine villages with some uh, balancing because it is speed up a little bit. And for viewers, for players, for everyone, I think it's good to, you know, time is uh, time is money, man. And uh, time you can get is better. But um, for 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 the walls maps, I would like it because they, they, I mean, it's so, so many times doing the arena games, right? So the start is just about the relic distribution. And that's it. And we know that this possibility to go feudal rush, but unlikely. So here, what we're going to see probably is a normal transition to the castle age and, and the stable and the scouts and trying to pick uh, the relics. It can be a, a different one with Khmer because you don't need buildings to go up. Uh oh. Okay. So he might be able to go up an incredibly quick up time. Okay. Yeah, the walls are also not. Uh, you cannot make a tower rise. You're right. They also put the, the, the walls with 1800. So you cannot even make tower rush. So it's directly going to castle it, you know? Yeah. So they, they, they have changed uh, quite a lot. Like they made the, the arena the, the most defensive way possible. Because they have already the, the HP from the walls in Castle Age. Right? But uh, they, they have from the start. Okay. Being said that, for Willis on Wood. And now he's gonna push the deers. He's starting to make a few farms. He has farmers already too on the full work. Very nice. And he's taking the deers. Not too fast, actually. I like it. And when you are taking the, um, the deers that late, it's because you're gonna go standard up 
not gonna go up super quick. And you don't need to get the the, um, the Ds so quick. Yeah, but this... Uh, the Feudal Rats can happen, but not with these walls. They have put to 1,800 HP already. I mean, you cannot kill that. It's take too long. And then you lose all the momentum. All the momentum. Completely. Yeah, the problem is that poles are not that great in the super late game. So, it's kind of hard to balance this civilization or nerf. Because if you do, then they don't really have anything. It's difficult. It is difficult. Anyway, he's up 24 population. 23 villages. And the scout. Look at this build order. He has 5 on wood. 2 farmers. 2 on gold. And everything else on food. Or on berries. The hunters. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, let's see if he's gonna have the food. He has to be quick. And he's being quick, amigo. He has so many villages on food. I think he will have the resources. Doing a couple of farms more. Remember that. Oh, three farms more. Those farms used. Give you the food instantly. It's gonna be a very tight build order. This is an oath, man. Oh, baby. Or it's not gonna be an oath. He's doing a villager. I think if he cancelled that village, he can go up. No? Yeah, I think it's a mistake. Don't make a villager, man. Why he's doing the villager? Just look. He have the resources. He maybe want to make another villager. Okay. He could have gone right away up. He didn't. He's going now. With one villager more. Let's go. I mean, it's not a big deal. But still. <clears throat> Market and Blastmith. And he's mining a stone with one villager. So he's not even going to compete. For the relics? Maybe not. Let's see if Lan is going to make a stable. Or he's just going to go for the boom as well. Because then this can be even... More passive. Oh, man. Yeah, no stable at all from, from blue. Though it has, of course, Collar. And yellow is on the way to castle. He's doing the barrack, but I don't like this. Or he's gonna go just spears. If he's doing that, he's just spending a lot of resources. If he's doing also a stable, it's too much. Plasmid, market, barrack, stable is too many buildings. In my opinion, at least. Let's see. Aha, he's doing the stable. Nice. I mean, you don't want to give the relics for free to your opponent. And I believe then he's going to go stable too. Obviously, without spears, he's, he's not the best, but... It's okay. And now he's doing the stable. What do you think about this build order, guys? Like, seriously. What the hell? Market, Blasbit, Varak, and Stable. It's quite a lot. Too much resources for me. But still. He has goal now to make one. He's doing now the Monastery. More scouts. This is Bozo. And you don't want to attack with both. Not yet. Oh, he's gonna try to. Nah. Nah. Was trying to get inside. That's why now yellow is going away. That the scout seems to be... Bye-bye. He's going to try to get in. No, no, no. Oh. Okay. Now he sees the spears. And he knows that he's doing army as well. Now TC. Where? Maybe here? Yeah, well. It's, it's the same. On wood and stone. Perfect. Really perfect. Boso and heavy plow. He has Boso, no heavy plow. Doing the monastery. Four villages on goal. And this is the standard, typical approach trying to grab the relics. Obviously, small advantage for Philips. Why? 
he got the spears, while Lan doesn't. So maybe Lan need to do light caps? It's possible. Otherwise, ah, he's doing a knight. Makes sense. Makes sense. You don't have a spears, you have to make a knight. Obviously, the knight, you have to be careful to don't get converted. And you don't want to make a barrack to, to, to lose the, the bonus advantage you get. You are saving resources for sure. Okay. More farms. Close to the full work. Remember that he's not really mining gold. He has used this stone miners and... Oh, oh. Ah, well. It's very difficult. And the knight is not going to be an out here. No, no, no. Well, the knight is there. He loses a scout. Didn't control. Well, land those units. Definitely not. He has willpower but not heavy plow. Happy man and here. Wolan, how you doing, man? Mr. Wolan, 62, man. 62 moons. What the hell, man? Well, this year, guys, we're gonna we're gonna start to have uh well, we have already, but we're gonna have crazy amount of subscribers with crazy months in the channel, man. Remember that we are already in a hundred three months partner. So, and there is people subscribe for over 100 months, which is crazy. So, yeah, and this year probably will be more. Crazy, crazy, crazy. My goodness. Okay, yellow has a lot of farming. Quite a lot of farming. Both plies with one relic. Go, go, go. What are you doing? Here, yeah, stop it. Okay. 30C now. So close to the stone center. Pretty crazy, and... Taking the spear now. Well, family is important, man, Mr. Wallen. Crazy important. Technotronics! Technotronic! How you doing, man? By the way, Technotronic, there is exactly one shop in my city called like this. Technotronics, you know? Always as you subscribe, man. It's remind me, man. There's one shop. It's an electronic one. Exactly called like this. Technotronic. Unbelievable. Okay, land with two Meanwhile, relics. Meanwhile, hope you've been well, member and check less than three. Happy New Year, man, bluff. Paul Ward. Happy New Year, man. Um, the boom for land, much better, man. Much better. Both with some idle time, but he's coming with a... Forward castle. Oh my god. Okay. This was unexpected. And now we have some aggression. Nice. Very nice. He can see the castle. Well, the castle is there. Lan has 12 villains more. He has to. He's doing another town center. Okay. He should go for the relic. Why he's fighting here? I have no clue. This is this is disaster, and I don't know why he's fighting there. He maybe got a little bit shock for that castle forward, but still, mining goal, only one villain on stone, and land will go up to Imperial fast, quite fast, I will say. But he has no stone. He has the loom. Nope. And uh, yeah, Lan is about to go up to Imperial, but need more on stone, and this is exactly what he's doing now. He should wall this area. He need to wall more, or he's gonna get raided. He has no army. He's really going to defend with one knight and two monks, like seriously. He feel confident, man. And no loom. What the hell? He's on the way to Imperial Age. But you are going up to Imperial? Uh, I don't understand. He's going to break it. What? Okay, I understand that farm, but... This is, this is sloppy, man. 
like seriously sloppy. But put it, put the village on the houses. He didn't. This is open, I believe. He converted to. How, how confident he is. He's so extra confident, man. What the hell? He could buy some stone. He's now on the way to Imperial Philippe's. He has 53 village, which is too little. Really, really too little, if you ask me. Yeah. Just look at the time up to Imperial. He can drop another castle soon. Go mine and upgrade. Stone mine and upgrade. Booming with five villages. So, from all town centers. Second castle. Okay. It's lots of privilege. That's the problem here. Like, maybe Poles with a little economy and four castles can just dominate. It's doing the castle at the back. Obviously, need to do now more stables. Remember that the cavalry from uh, Khmer is better than Poles. Like, they get all the upgrades while Poles are missing plus four. It's true that you can have the, the tech upgrade that is great for the Khazars, but uh, let's see. Husbandry, where's the blasmith? That he has the blasmith? He has no blasmith, man. And he needs the blasmith, Amigo. Okay. Land has 24 villages more. Going through with it now. But army is needed. And I don't see Blasmid. I don't see stables. I don't see anything at all. The knights are coming. But he's going to wall. This is open, I believe. I'm not sure, to be honest. He's walling. He's going to try to kill. Now conscription and one trap. Cavalier. He's doing Cavalier, but then he's doing a Barrack. Makes sense to me. You know? And this is open, I still insist. Like, I mean, well. Why Lan is played like this, man? Still zero army. Okay. He's gonna lose a trap. He's going to repair the trap with it or not? He's trying now. A third castle in front. And this is a... One of those games that you feel that they that he's so confident, like I'm winning the game, you know? I don't need to do anything else than what I'm doing. He still have 95 villages, which is crazy. His opponent is with 57 villages only, but with as lots of privilege, you can expand them. It's true that you need a minimum economy. Now pikes. But he's still with no army. With no army at all. The relics are going to be gone probably as well. So he might get five. Okay. Billy is going to be down and... Uh, this might be game. Can Lan do something? He's doing the halberd years now. All right. Well, actually the halves kill that. If he's just do a couple of trebuchet and go full halves, I think he's fine. Oh my god. He mind that he recover in this situation. That would be crazy. He is still doing a lot of knights. Yeah, but not so many halves are needed. Need to keep going. Well, he has the houses, and now more traps. Yeah, he's spamming halves. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Lani is going to be able to win the game. Even like this. And I don't think it's a great gameplay, but... I mean, he's playing good because he's booming good. But he's letting his opponent to come. Like, some walls could have been uh, done. Okay. He is still with the halves with zero upgrades. Blasmith. I don't even think that he did the Blasmith in the whole game, guys. Like, no upgrades, guys. He's doing traps and no Blasmith. That's crazy. He's going to try to take the castle now. Finally now doing some houses. Okay. And it's still zero upgrades. More barracks and the knights are coming. Is repair is walling? No, it's not walling. Now he's coming with the halves. But he's doing now Obuch. Well the Obuch, sorry. The Obuch do the job. He's coming with the knights. Weird game so far. Super weird. But still. Let's see. The halves are gonna be eating now all the all the knights, right? He's finally doing some upgrades. Plus one armor. Okay, three traps. You're gonna try to take this castle. 
And 20 bullets killed. He's still 30 bullets ahead and more army. Well, this kind of gameplay can work against Philips, but not against better players. I don't know what you think, guys, but let's see. Let's see. Repairing that one. Now, if he come with all the house, he might kill all the army, but the castle is down. Yeah, so many halberdiers. He need to clean this, and if he clean the knights, he can clean everything now. Oh my god. What the hell? Yeah. He's gonna make a TC here, or what? Halberdiers are with all the plus one, but the obuch, the obuch are really good. Are really, really good. He still didn't wall. What the hell? A guy in his open. Sticking all the Obuch. And the Knights is still waiting. I don't know. He's still losing the game against 60 villages, man. Pole civilization can create huge amount of farming with so little, man. That only tells how broken civilization is. You know? And GG, man. That was a, a very poor play by Lan. Honestly, you know? Even like that, he almost can hold, but... That was a very, 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 very weird, very, very weird gameplay here by Lan. Okay. And well, uh, Poles uh, was able to win here. You can see that this Philips has a huge APM, man. I mean, Philips APM average, it's higher than the highest from Lan. You know? But you know, it's decisions this game. It's decisions this game. It's not only speed, right? It's not only a speed. Anyway, let's bring the, the monitor. Military. He killed a lot more economy. You can see land with a much better economy except the goal. And uh, 105 is 62. Well, with 62 villages in arena, you can win. And he won. Game four. Let's go. Vamos, amigos. This is game number four. And we keep going with Lithuanians and Huns in a map that, well, we have seen how many times we have seen this map? Oof, many, many times. And we will keep watching it. This bring some very, very nice and interesting games. For sure. The water, the, the ponds are very, uh, very important. And the uh, Lithuanians here is very strong. I still love Huns, but it's true that you can be up already with a, 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 a lumber camp with four or five alleys on wood, and that always makes you make dogs so quick, you know? And it, it gives you a, a big bonus, man. A really big bonus. What, yellow? Philips. Okay. Okay, okay. He will have the dog, but later it's a standard build order, you know? Yeah, he's about to have the wood. And he's going for the dog. The map is very good for land. Like, seriously, this is a paradise. Easy to wall. Gold protected. Paris at the back. This is Black Forest. This is too much wood, man. I mean, it's, it's crazy. I will zoom out a little bit. Guys, and look at this. It's... Man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, it's the two updates, guys. It's the, the camera and the, the stream itself, because we are in 2.5K resolution. If you guys are watching in, in a mobile or a tablet, probably not going to notice. But if you are watching on a big TV, I would like your feedback, guys, because now, uh, or in a big monitor as well, the resolution should be great and the greatest than ever in the channel. You know? I would love to stream on 4K. Sadly, Twitch doesn't have the the servers, basically, you know. It doesn't have. But for now, this uh, change is great. I was talking with Winter Gaming. I don't know if you know him. He's a streamer in StarCraft. He's been streaming in this resolution for quite a while. And I was talking, hey, Mr. Winter, what do you think? And he told me, man, you can try that resolution. With your setup and with Age of Empires 2 and StarCraft is great quality. Try and let's see how your viewers are going to react. And well, he was right, man. The quality is amazing. It's really good. It is really good. Okay. 
didn't take the bar yet. Six villages on wood and dock at the back. Obviously, the PCs suffer a little bit more. I mean, the, the GPU, everything suffer more. Probably more electricity bill because all the power is higher, but I think it's worth it, man. We want, uh, I want the, the best quality possible in the channel, always. All right. Take another board and back into the casting. Seven of wood here. How many? Six. For now, he has spotted the dog. Very important. He has explored quite a lot. He has explored all his base and he knows where his opponent is. He see the wood, he see the dock. So he's now considering what is the next step, the strategy that he's gonna make. He's gonna try to sneak a dock or he's gonna go full land right away. I don't know. I mean, there's not a, a real rule that uh, the players are going one or the other strategies. We have seen everything, you know. Happy New Year to everyone, amigos. I have watching the tablet and, and uh, it's still giving the quality. It doesn't go to 720p. It's giving the source. So it might be also the, 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 the tablet model as well. I don't know. I don't think all the tablets are going to have that problem, you know. <coughs> anyway, it will on wood. He's going to wall on the left. Okay. He's not going for, for a snake. He's just going to make the barrack and probably a second dog. Yeah. A second dog himself. Yeah, but his map is just a paradise, seriously. I mean, it can't be better. The only problem is that you can get a sneak. And you have to be aware of that. But at home, it's Black Forest, man. These kind of maps are kind of unfair because... Yellow is not that he has a terrible map, but in comparison with blue, it is terrible. You know? I mean, he has wood at the back, wood on the, uh, in front, one on the right side. Then they go completely the opposite. Everything is open. While blue is all compact. All together. You know? Yeah, I think I have never won a single game in my life 1v1 in this map. So... Definitely, I'm not gonna discuss the strategies. I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys what I see, and what I see is that he need to wall this area before the scout. No, the scout is really low HP. Okay, didn't notice. And now scouts and his wall, man. This is crazy, man. Seriously crazy. Yeah, he's going in stable too, but yeah, all good. He can see it, the stable? No, he didn't even see the barrack, but doesn't matter. House and another house, and he's fully wall. Yeah. So now yellow can't do anything with the scouts. He has to defend against blue. And obviously in this situation, you might go up faster than your opponent. No horse collar, okay. He is doing now the horse collar. Uh oh. Almost. Yeah, he's going for the goal, he's doing the blasphemy. And the following is so easy now for land. Really easy. 20 on foot, 2 on goal. The transition for Castles is gonna be just amazing. Really, really amazing. So smooth, guys. So, so smooth. By the way, we have another series after this one. Uh, I need to check which one it is. Le give me a moment. Oh, yeah. Who's Hussiel versus Gabi. We were talking before. And... I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take a village. But this is the problem. Like... Yeah, he take one Belir here, one Belir there. He's moving while he's fully wall. I mean, 
when yellow see this, he might think like, this is unfair. This is just, this is just ridiculous. It's a paradise. It's a real paradise. He has idle time here, as you can see. Efficiency is going to use higher for land all the time. Now he's walling, quick walls. Remember that his APM is sick, but APM doesn't work against this. And now you can go forging, you can go aggressive. Bloodlines, forging, all the upgrades if you want, exactly. And make a total domination. Yeah, look at the amount of scouts. Crazy. He has a spears, but well, if he just send a couple of spears himself, what he's not doing then? Well, because he doesn't need. Okay. Oh, he canceled. Yeah. He canceled bloodlines and, and forging. He was like, for what? I don't need them. He canceled them just to go up castle it as soon as possible. Yeah. I mean, these situations, 10 farmers, five. He has double the farms. But these situations are so difficult. The player has to be, the player that is open has to play perfect. Like, so good to, to be able to do the job. Now he's doing the market, but blue is up in minute 15. He's on the way to Castle Age. It's just so great. Yeah. You can see how the map is mat matters a lot, guys. It matters a lot. I think he should do gold mine and upgrade now. He's doing forging, but gold mine and upgrade will help a lot too. Uh oh, going back. He's doing the gold mine and upgrade, expected. And that was a bad move by Blue. A really bad one, actually. Oh my god. Oh, seriously. Oh my god. Okay, guys, this is the first Titanic of the year. And the Titanic is still in the channel, guys. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it has to be there. I mean, the alert is. It's, it's what it is, you know? It's what it is. He lost six scouts there, or five, for nothing. And now, Gale is here. Okay, I like it. Phillips is doing a good job. He's definitely doing a good job. He has to be careful here. Okay, going to go back or not? Mm -hmm. Got it. He's going to hit now a little bit, but blue is okay. And now he's gonna take that one. Yeah. Well, he tried. No army anymore. Yellow is also going up. And hands are hands, guys. And triple archery range is amazing. Blue need to go quick. He's doing now the bloodlines. And no knights. Do knights, man. He's not doing the knights yet. He's doing bloodlines and husbandry. Okay. I think we'll will be much better to go army right away, but still. He's giving time to his opponent to recover. Now he's gonna wall all the map. And well, if he wall all the map and he's able to go full cab archers, hands are hands. Hands are hands. Let's see. Still not doing yet anything. The knight will come in a moment. I don't know why he's diving in. It's pretty obvious what blue is going to do. Yeah, and you want to have those scouts outside. Why? Because you want to kill potential monks. And now, you don't. They are dead. Those scouts are dead. And those those scouts could be home, monastery, and uh, and you kill them. Full HP. That was a mistake. He's going to go for the TCs. He's not going... I mean, Blue is being a boomer. Let's be honest. He... In the games he played, he has been booming constantly. Even in Atacama, he won with the macro. So Lan is a boomer boy. You know? Meta player going for the boom. And trying to win from there. It can work. In many situations, for sure. We have seen how the, the economy probably better than... Than the military approach. But... Uh, in Arena, didn't work. And now Yellow. Oh, come on, Yellow. Yellow! Make a market. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. It's okay. Blue is also in peace. It's a happy new year, so he's not one. Don't want to kill the villager. Now he will. 
Kung Fu Panda, 56 moons. Let's go, baby. Will borrow a skill bar and armor forging. And this is walled. Not a wall. Oh my god, these holes break my heart. These holes break my heart, guys. He's gonna kill something else. He killed a villager, but he created chaos. Another another one, this is two. And no more. Alright, but guys, 13 villages ahead. 13. Okay, took that villager there. 13 villages ahead. Whoa. He has galleys. He has a lot of galleys. Yeah, the knights are going to fall now. Those cav archers bought Kinaro. And remember one thing that is very important. You might have a lot more villages, but hands are hands. And if you are able to mass with the military, oof. I don't know. Siege Workshop and a lot of cav archers. Be careful with the hands. It's not the first time that uh, a hands approach can work like this. Want to see all cav archers? It can be very dangerous. Like, really, really dangerous. I mean, Lan has no army. Just check. And now, he shouldn't get the relics. He should have the map control. The timing. The momentum. Happy New Year to everyone, man. Happy New Year. Marv, you're still alive, man. Happy New Year, Marvy. Look at those. 500 score difference. Siege Workshop. And now... Doing all the upgrades, bloodlines, armor. Who is this? Terror! My goodness. Terror! The real Gordito is now here in my channel. Thank you, Gordito. <laughs> Thank you so much, John Slow, amigo. Hopefully you got a, a nice first day of the year, man. Okay. It's now raiding on the left, raiding here. You have to be careful. You need to take the scorpions. Killing the scorpions? You're fine. 22 cav archers with Thumbrin already. He got Will Barrow, so he's fine. But need to control this army great. Right now, Lan has one relic. He has plus two nice attack. But the siege is so important. The siege is so important. And the siege is gone. Yeah, Ballista will be great too, but Thumbrin is amazing. In a face-to-face, -face, it's probably even better than, uh, than Ballistic. And the game is so interesting. Very interesting. It's a typical hands approach. But need to do damage. His opponent is finally doing now more stables. This Siege Workshop will have the Mangonal in sight, I believe. Don't go forward. Oh, he's going. Huge. Huge. Amazing. Amazing. I was skeptical if he's not getting the hit, but he did it, and it was fantastic. Now he's killing villages here. Raiding on the right, doing chain mail armor, which is amazing upgrade here. Chain barden armor, sorry, not mail. Mail is for infantry. Cavarge through the left, and here what? Ooh. Turn watch. Gonna, ki gonna kill more. The is a scary amount of cav archers. Uh, like, really a scary amount of cav archers. But Lan is, is still going with the hand cart with his 30 villains more. What the hell? Fourteen knights is already a strong amount of knights. Good amount of knights for sure. He's plus two, plus two knights. Let's see the cap archers. You have to be careful. He's gonna hit them back. Hit them back. He has husbandry? Yes, he has. So they are faster than the knights. You need to hit them back, but he's good amount of knights for sure. Huh? But if you hit them back, you might kill them. Or maybe not. Oh my god. Just go, go, go. Well, here is 12 knights, 24 cap archers. So... With some good uh, micro, a donation, first donation of the day, of donated the year. Ten euros. Look who Amazing. is. Happy 2023. Pumukel, you always come, man. Every year, amigo. Como estas? How you doing, man? How you doing, Mr. Pumukel? Thank you so much, man. Okay. Careful here. 
Yeah, but the problem is that now 20 knights, 31 kill archers. The amount of army for Lana is huge. Is huge. And the push here now from yellow is gone. He has still only one TC. I think Philips has done, except on Arena, only one tone center, man, basically. And in Arena D2. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, he has Ballisti, goes out mining. 40 farmers, 9 farmers. I mean, too defensive, Philips. Really defensive, and Lan has now a crazy economy, and it's impossible now for yellow. It's really difficult for yellow. He's on the way to Imperial even. Whoa, 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 whoa. Great economy with so many knights. Yeah, great farming. One, two. He's playing smooth, man. Except in that arena game that he played kind of too greedy. Then he's playing really consistent. Like I told you, Lani is in another level. And uh, he should win the series. You know, Yellow has now two farmers. Why? Well, I don't know. He has also either village on the TC. I don't know why. He's not getting raided, but still. So many units here now. For Yellow. Yeah, but Blue has a lot of units too. Coming with the Scorpions, with a couple of monks as well. He's still going forward. Plus three knights. He has two relics. And going back again. Well, when he reach Imperial Age, plus four is definitive. In my opinion. Let's see. Uh-oh. Well, he's still killing more. Lan has killed more units than yellow. That's, that's also almost impossible to justify when you have so many cab archers, right? Yeah, well, it's, it's losing all. He's losing all, man. What the hell? Gilnes now? GG, man. Yeah. I mean, Lan is in another level. Is definitely in another level. And Lan is going to be in the gold league. Not a surprise. We wanted to see his performance. And his performance is Aegis OP. He's still very strong, you know. And the micro with the, um, with the Cav Archers was bad. So they, this is where you don't understand. Like, the APM is insane. Look at the APM. But it's not an effective APM. Like, he has almost double APM than Lan, but Lan just played much better. Maybe he's just using or, or clicking things that are not needed, because 124 APM is, is higher than Hera or Leary, even. Or at least at their level. What the hell? Yeah. It's crazy. And resources, 10k more. 10k more. And, well, Lan is in the goal league amigos and uh, well if you watch on youtube thumb up amigos okay guys we keep going and go for another series Husiel versus gabi and we have gujaras and the mongols gujaras and mongols very interesting matchup for sure let me just check the civilizations hopefully it's gonna work completely gujaras and mongols and those are the sieves. Are working the overlays properly. I love it. I love it. Well, Husiel Gujaras. This is a sixth civilization, as we all know. Very strong. A little bit nerfed, which is good. A little bit more balanced. But then Mongols in this map. Thank you so much for the follow. Look. Look at the deers you have not so far with the Mongols here. Eh, it's just brutal, you know? Really, really brutal. So, yeah, well. Okay. Obviously, the longer the games goes, the better for Gujaras. Gabi need to be aggressive, like really aggressive. Otherwise, I don't think you can uh, do anything against Gujaras with Mongols. I mean, I mean, if it's hard, that is how it sound. But we saw how the day, for example, I think it was Somero played with the Mongols against the Vietnam player with China. And it went super aggressive. This map is quite open. It's invite to be aggressive, you know? You know, stone on the left, goal far, the other goal in front. But it's quite open, you know, with some holes in the wood lanes. So we can expect some aggression. Obviously, now he's going to push the... Uh, well, he pushed the deer. Oh. Okay. He already took it and is the second. Now the boar. Yeah, all the hunt so quick. I mean, you can go up incredibly fast with this one. 
By the way, six on ships only? Uh, he didn't find those two. Oh my god. This is really bad. But actually, this is unfortunate. It's so far. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not finding it. Wouldn't be surprised. Well, he need to go around again. I mean, he could be here, but the only spot is this area. He has explored a lot. Okay. Happy leaves. Happy New Year, man. How you doing, man? What the greatest stuff you you bring to the AOE, you know? And it's even say that I'm watching the recorded games, man. What the hell? Well, Husiel 2.3k, Gabby 2.1k. According to the rated, it should be favorite, right? Husiel. But we don't know the players really well. And we're going to see how good they are. As you can see, there is a lot of players with big level. With Kai super high rated, you know? So let's see what it's going to be. Okay. Going to push the deers or not? Mm. Pushing the deers. There you go. The mill is going to make the loom. By the way, after this series, there's no more series. But I didn't check the series yesterday. And in a little bit faster speed, uh, I don't know the scores. If you want, we can check. In uh, I'm not going to cast in normal speed. I will do it in a little bit quicker, in double the speed. But if you want, we can check. If you didn't see it or you want to see with my casting, I would like to analyze some of them. I think Hart was playing. So it's always interesting to see Hart playing. We want to see the, the AM player be, be on top, right? I believe so. Okay. Okay. This is new. Okay, I believe. Awesome. Gabby is not going for the scouts. He's going for men at arms. I don't know if I like this because the map is so, so big. You can see how far they are. Um, um, Now doing the loom, and the crazy thing here is that he is still with 18 villagers. Obviously, now he didn't make a single military building, and uh, he's now on the way to feudalage. It's crazy, man. Like, it's really crazy that you delete like this. It's true that now the uh, the Turkish. By the way, he didn't never found this. The Turkish are protected. He is not gonna lose them. You know? Exactly. Cannot pressure that male. So he's, he's in a good position now. Four villains ahead. But how this can happen? Well, Husiel is not gonna feel so happy. People, he might be thinking, oh man, and now they are casting my games. I think it's the first time I see this happening in a tournament. I have seen the lead TCs on uh, rated games, maybe in team games tournament, but the lead TC like this in a qualification stage, and well, he was trying just to make the Palisade get, and then he deleted the town center. That's crazy. I think he's gonna find those two ships or two whatever goats. Oh, oh man! I know what this kid doing. Well, the archers are there, so he need to move.
he has good resources, but six villages behind. Archie range, and I like it, man. He's still trying. Definitely, he, he's a try hard, but this is a bad Archie range. So he'll do it cl closer because now with the arches, maybe he should not let him do it. There's also pressure for Gabi because if now Gabi is not winning this game, then why to keep casting the series? If you can't win this game after your opponent the delete the TC, you cannot win any game. Fletching, and well, six villages behind. Doing now is skirmishers. All right. I think he will find those. Yeah, he will. This is a good catch up. He's gonna take that one. Actually, he won't. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Blue is holding well. Like, he's doing what he has to do. He has fletching. Oh my god, this is so bad. With four villages taking the three deers at the same time. Not the best efficiency. All right. Next step for Red to be probably going to scout or what? Okay. It's crazy that he's not gonna take, he's not gonna find those two ships, man. Crazy. Not gonna find it. Yeah, well, the skirmishes help, but not the greatest against men at arms. He has to go with Villiers, eh? He's got a mine goal now. Ooh, he failed, man. He's not having lag. He's also not having lag, really. Because he could have trapped it, and then he didn't. Military, military numbers is similar. And well, blue seven villages behind. He's walling out the goal. Doing more farms. Two men at arms coming. Deleting the wood. And time to kill the. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The men at arms are strong against this. He's coming with more archers. The archers are with fletching. He's gonna kill those, but now the archers are gonna come at the same time, and the gold miners are going to be in the hell. In the damn hell. Yeah, it's so difficult, man. And he's doing well, but. Valir down. No, don't mind that. Military number is the same. So he's fine. But resources, obviously, much better. Now he's doing the market. And he's going to go up. He's not taking any risk. Yeah, castle age. And uh, that means... Uh, that means domination. That's what means domination. Blue, move the villiers. Oh, man. This is crazy. But why he's not moving? He should move there. There's more deers, man. Well, didn't find the two ships. Crazy. I mean, when it's not your game, it's not your game. You know? And it's definitely not blue game in this one. Unfortunate. Might be so tilt. Really, really tilt. Still mining the goal. And now skirmish is there, but the skill bar, the armor. I mean, he could go step lancer. C could go step lancers. Knight, whatever. Whatever he wants. He want. Yeah. Well, it's a pity because the game is kind of broken because of that delete TC. But my question here is... Do you think it's normal to keep playing? I mean, why not, right? You have nothing to lose. It's better to keep playing and try to make... To make her... Uh, finish the game, right? You have to make it finish the game. I think pretty much everyone will keep trying. Well, he's not that behind, right? According to the situation, well, he's on the way to Castle Age now. Okay. Gonna make a stable now or not? Gonna make the Lumber Camp here and Siege Workshop on his face. Siege Workshop on his face. He has to be careful. Okay. But I don't understand. 
Well, he's sending the Krobos on the left, but the Ice Kirby is here. Gonna claim this, probably. But you are protected here. He cannot do damage. Well, the gold miners are exposed. Doesn't make any sense to me that he leave those gold miners lonely in front. Yeah, doesn't make sense. He's doing a good micro. Kusiel is even killing more. But... Yeah, but now how you take the goal? Oh! He found it, man. He found the ships. I like it. Yeah, and the real problem is... Goal. Another goal. And where's the third goal? Here. And didn't ne I never explore. So he has no access to goal. No access to goal, guys. Nothing. Botkin Arrow, he has to be careful. Might be able to deal with the arches, yes. But... Man, he's trying, man. He keeps trying, okay. Ten is more, double the army. And well... This goal is also limit, so... Not good, man. Definitely not good. He can delete and go in. Delete and go in, man. Seriously? Red really is not gonna... He, he preferred to don't delete, to keep lame it. Okay. Okay, okay. 11 village difference, and the game keep going. Now to gonna try to break it. He's repairing the market. I mean, the game is full over, but, uh, well. Blue is not giving up. Knights and crossbows, the ram is now here taking the stable. Well, and because he has this TC, still not mining gold, which is surprising. You need some gold. Yeah. Getting ready is 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 ugly to see the games like this. After the delete TC, if you just join, guys, this game is going that unbalanced because Blue deleted the Tone Center. When he was up to Feudal Age, it was crazy, and the game has a snowball from there. Red didn't take a single risk, which is the way to go. And we're waiting for Call It. This is a stable now. But... Okay. She'll do a lot of farming to be able to do something here, which is really not happening. I mean, he has no resources. He's doing now one camel, and that's what he has. Resources to make one camel, two on foot. And uh, waiting for the GG and uh, start our real game. Come on. Thank you, man. GG. Well, nothing to say in this game, guys. This game was a disaster. It's... Uh, it was unfortunate, and uh, well, these kind of things can happen, and it happens, sadly. You know, a military, nothing to analyze. The same KD, but uh, well, it's, uh, it's a brutal advantage, you know, in the economy. Game two, let's go. We keep going with game number two. Ooh, I was right, guys. I was right. Turks versus Spanish, guys. Turks versus the Spanish and uh, let's see the sieves because it's a very interesting matchup which one we prefer I think Turks is better but the Spanish in a map like this that you can expand it has a lot of answers as well and it's a fun one a really fun one so let's see this is a map that uh, Mr. Arthach and many people will like it it's half clone let's say I wouldn't say that this is a clone, clone, clone map, you know? So, let's see, man. Yeah, I'm still also tired, Arthach. We, we went very late, and my son, last night, my goodness, he was on fire, man. 
It was really on fire. Maybe I saw you later some video. Was dancing. My son was six years old. He was dancing till poof. He has wake up today at over 1 p.m. Imagine. Vamos, Daniel Victorious. I like this map quite a lot. You know? One of those close maps that I like the most because having this open at the back is cool. Also, it gives a, nine relics. It's amazing. Like, unlikely that you are not going to get some. I mean, five, four relics, for example, for each. It will be great. Six, three is a little bit too much, but still three relics is cool. Yeah. A and... Clone strategies can still work, but you still have room to move. Also, you can even go Feudal Aggression, uh, one of the favorite aggression from uh, from Arthach, that he loves to, to, to get towers on his face, and it's to be like this. But, uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Kusiel, four villages on wood. Gonna make the houses here, gonna wall till the edge of the map. Okay. The first game was a little bit, you know, because blue deleted the town center. And then I want to ask you, how are you gonna be playing the next game when when you are you you might be tilt, right? Like you lose a TC when you are using Gurjaras and it's hard to focus or not. It, it has to be hard to focus. No? Like seriously. Okay. And? Ooh, almost. Yeah, but it's difficult. It is very difficult. Anyway. Boy, he's gonna palisade till the edge of the map. Yeah, he's already walling. Not confident anymore. Blue will have light caps for free in the feudal, remember. But then what Gabby is going to do? He's only now here, close. It's an easier to explore a little bit. Yeah, but but why you go to explore? It's better to explore your base, I think. I don't know. Well, now he's fully wall and he's gonna notice. So all good, doing the mail. Okay. Yeah, all this is wallable and it will be fine. But I don't like these walls. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, well, you are not spending a lot of resources and you avoid a potential aggression. Red now is about to arrive into the walls, so he knows, she knows that he's not coming. Unlikely to come like this. You see? Yeah. All the walls. Second Lumber Camp, and they are going to go standard up or not. He's going to go up 23. No, no, no. He's doing more. More villages, and now wall in this area. Okay. Four villages on berries, and now the mining camp is gonna make it. Got it. He's going for gold. He's gonna go conks, and the other is gonna go Janissars. Well, who the hell is going Janissars? Gavi is doing what? Tick tock. Tick tock. Count down. This is gonna be three villages on stone. It is. Mining camp here. No? Oh, he's going for the wood. The hell? CG baited me, man. So, one on goal. Farmers. And I don't see... Very interesting, but... Do you like the idea to have the scout here instead of exploring all the map? 
I like more gather information. And this is what he's doing right now. The house will never go down, obviously. And now, mining stone with two villages. All right. A new subscriber. Vamos. Vamos, amigos. Go, go, go. Let's see if we can get back to the 2K subscribers. Not going to be easy, but vamos. Okay. Okay, okay. Three on gold and five on berries here. Obviously, he's going to explore now and... Uh-oh. He's not needed. Even more when you know that this is going to be a light cat. Uh-oh. Oh, it's gonna be annoying. That's annoying. Market and Blasmith. Who's the with the good resources? Red also okay, but it requires more. A little bit. I'm surprised that he's doing the loom. It means he's gonna go forward? Probably. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's mining stone, a lot of stone is now. Okay. Both players going up. Yes, they are. But one without the loom. It's six seconds difference. Remember that the Spanish village is built faster? I will never understand why, but they do. Okay. And then he's probably going to make a castle here. When you make the loom, it's because you want to go forward. And I'm telling you something. If you deny that forward castle, my goodness, you know. Red got no loom. Blue got loom. That's the difference right now. So, blue might go forward. What? He's afraid about the conks. You know. Afraid, man. Rage. How you doing, man? The Rage of Empires Pro. Okay, we have six villages on stone. Though with Iron Horse Collar and um, gonna wall. Yeah, he's walling completely. Well, he has so many villages on stone. He has eight on stone, six. He's gonna go forward. He's gonna buy now a hundred stone. I don't know, guys. Let's see. Yeah, but CL in the name is not about clone. It's about Chile. If I'm not wrong. <coughs> There's no tier 3 league. There's only 2 league. And this is the promotion. To go... Oh, well. He's doing the castle at home. Then why you did the loom? I don't like it. I don't like the approach for both of them. But the Kongs are better. I mean, and the castle here, explain me why. Why the castle in this corner? Now, if the Janissars come, the gold is exposed. So, doesn't make any sense. For me, I will do the castle here. And you are safe. But that castle here is protecting the walls. Yeah. yeah. Very passive, yes. Very, very passive. So, we're going to see what they do. Kongs are better. How do you do in Magnolia? By the way. Okay. Thank you for the follow, guys. Go, go, go. Oh, man. We are, we are directly to 110k. My goodness. Well, doing more farms. And now the question here is they're going to do more TCs or they're going to try to go just one tone center and military. I mean, it's always very fun to see the, the these unique units. You know? Kong's so strong. You can see 44 HP, 17 attack. The Kong's 16 attack, 55 HP. But the mobility, man, the speed. The speed 1.30. You can also make bloodlines and husbandry as an upgrade for the Kongs. Well, the Janissars, basically the armor, and that's it. 
Right? Okay. Uh oh. Okie dokie. By the way, can. Are the Janis are affected by squires? Now that I'm thinking. It's something that I never really consider. If they can be faster. I don't think so, right? No, those those are only for barracks. Right? Uh oh. Careful. The square is only for barracks, it's not for it's not like the like the husband that is a stable. Ooh. Ooh. The Genesis are not considered infantry then. Are considered range units probably. Uh oh. Careful. Man, the Kongs are so strong. Really strong. He probably wanted to go light caps, but he has to adapt because he's playing against Spanish. Maybe he was expecting to play against some civilization, some different Civ. Okay. He has the monks. Oh my god. They are so good, man. They're really so good. But no. Red, no monastery. This. I think Red is going to try Fast Imp. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, the Kongs are just too strong. Great micro here by Gabi, by the way. 6 0 KD, guys. 6 0 KD, the Janissars just get wrecked. Literally wrecked. The only good thing for Kusiel is that he's taking the relics. At least he took two relics for now. But my goodness. The damn Kongs. How strong they are. Okay, but then. Uh, my question here is Do you want to make Kongs to get map control but get the relics? Why he's not doing a monastery? Why? Instead, uh, I don't know. Well, you are protected yourself. You are well defended, but I don't know. It's difficult. It is difficult. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, more Kongs are coming. One moment, please. Okay. I was just checking something. Yeah, he's not wall in this area, but this is a super weird gameplay. Well, red is not super weird. He's going fast same. Wow. Ignoring relics. Look at their resources. Got a clear strategy on her mind. Now, second castle forward and game over. Pretty much. Got it. The KD is absolutely insane. And blue, two TCs. He might have a stone to make another castle, but she's Imperial. It's going in. Who want who want relics when there is nine when there is nine relics in the in the map, right? You don't want relics. You know, you don't want relics. Yeah, 21 farmers, 13. But that's normal because it's only one TC. So it's easier to go up to Imperial. And now. The Janissas can't compete. He's gonna drop a castle there. The Janissas can't compete against the Kongs. Well, some conversion could help. But look at now. Oh. Oh. Oh, man. They are so powerful. He converted one, okay, but now. And who's he got more Janissars? But doesn't matter. It's gonna kill more. Look at this. The damn micro, man. The speed, the momentum, everything. Now the stone just dropped the castle there and the ba ba boob. Yeah, I might kill some Valir. He's, be he's behind in Valir's, but the Imperial transition. <coughs> Oh, don't fail now. She's kind of failing now. Yeah, so I've been better. So I've been a little bit better. But that castle is going to be up. And it's still, with little army, it's still going to be very hard 
now to come. Oh my god, Red, it's failing big time at the moment. If he's not doing the castle, oh my god. Oh man. Oh man, seriously. Seriously. 30 villains, 5 army. The castle is not up. Oh man. He's gonna come with more. But man, 17, no, 18 villains now. Ay, 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 ay. Still, the castle will be up, I believe. Or maybe not. Are you kidding me, man? Throw in the game. I think he should make the castle. Or maybe not. He's so many Janissas now. He's coming with the monks. Now kill the villiers. Kill the villiers. He's gonna touch the castle and he's doing the... And now look at the micro. Look at the micro by blue. I mean, double Titanic, man. You cannot let that castle happen. Anyway, he's 65 villains. Gabby, 29. He's on the way to Imperial. And at home. Are you kidding me, man? How those Janissars are, are there? Well, he went around. It's crazy. It is crazy. It was looking so smooth. And uh, now he's looking so titanic. Where's the Imperial by blue? What? Where's the Imperial by blue? Why he castle? Why he castle the Imperial? Yeah, red bay is nothing. Okay. Well, who still only need a castle back and a siege workshop? Bomber cannons, more Janissars, and that's it. <coughs> Why he's repairing the castle? You don't even need to repair the castle. Just make a castle at the back. And that's it. I don't know. By the way, Margot, do you have the new setup already? Margot go? Only the keyboard for now. Well, with the keyboard, it's difficult that you improve the, the, the gameplay. Only with the keyboard, but be patient. Ah. Let's throw this Mambo. Yeah, he has so many relics in January. Great. Well, we are in January already, so going to be soon. Going to be soon. Um, Siege one shop. Why are you still repairing the castle? I have no clue. It doesn't make sense. Just make another castle, man. It's a so weird game. And Gabby now shouldn't be able to win. Like, impossible. Like, with the amount of army he has. Now he's housed forever. And the uh, market gone. He has four relics. The castle is going to be at home. But no wood, man. No village on wood. Oh, my God. But you can notice that... Uh, Okay. With Barro, the score difference is, is important, but the most important is that it's double the population, you know? It feels choppy for you. If it's choppy for you, it's because you don't have good setup. I'm sorry to say. If you tell me your setup, I can help you. Uh, Mr. Four Flea. Can you tell me where are you watching? If the connection is not the node or the monitor, even the graphic card. But should be smooth, man. Oh, careful here. And how many monks? Yeah, it's too many units, but look at the resources. Is he going to make bomber cannons or not? Well, why not siege your shop? Okay. Well, Gabi has the Teen Kongs, but as you can see, very slow, Blue. Really, really slow. You know, really, really slow. No, I cannot. I don't control the options, man. 
I don't control the options. You still didn't explain me what is the, the issue and what is your your setup so then I can help you because you should be able to watch easily. I'm streaming with only two megabyte bitrate more, so that's nothing. And everyone or almost everyone watched this even better than before, so obviously it's a problem that you can fix. Maybe with another browser or something. Guys, 2000 gold. He don't want to take any risk, but man. Blue plays so defensive. Why he's doing more tone centers? I don't understand this. I don't understand this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't understand why he has only 12 farmers. For me, Blue is not playing good. You know? Red, just Titanic. A lot. With the, with the, if not, I think she will have won the game already. And now Blue is being, being slow, you know. He's coming with the trebuchets. Obviously, having more than double the ability is to win, you know. Ah, he should know how far he is ahead. He should really know, and the score is also say it's 1,000 score difference. That's quite a lot. I don't know why he's not doing siege war shot. Bomber cannons will help massively the monks. Oh boy. Well, four trebuchet already. Now doing the bloodlines, but. Yeah, now, now there is no chances. Like, it's impossible that C can win. You know? Impossible that C can win. The idea was very interesting, but you lose all the momentum when you couldn't make the castle in the start. 3,000 gold, and he's not using it. Oh, my lord. Okay. But at least wall, man. I mean, if he's, if he's going inside, he can, he can kill everything. Don't understand, man. That's crazy, man. Obviously, he's converting some. He converted a lot, actually. Like, really, really a lot. But Micro the Kongs. Micro the Kongs, man. Blue. Seriously. Oh, man. I get ex extremely. Yeah, GG. I mean, the game was over as soon as he didn't make the castle. They extend the game, and the first two games, well, both Titanic. In the first one, Husiel. They lead the town center. In the second one, Gabby didn't micro properly. And when she was going to win, she pretty much lost the game, you know? Lost the game. Well, uh, let's see. And uh, please be respectful respectful with the players. Not everyone is the Viper, Leary, Hera, and so on, okay? And... Uh, you always expect to see uh, tournaments, and when you see the players, you expect to see always so smooth, clean gameplay. That's not happening at all. I mean, and that's uh, definitely, well, yeah, 111 villages, you know, 47. Game number three. Game number three, guys. And. Beautiful, guys. Beautiful. Brutality, you know. Brutality is game number three. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Dravidians versus Malai. Well, I expected Malai. And Dravidians is, seems to be very popular. Why? I'm going to show you why. Let me show you the overlays here. Dravidians and... Uh, Malai. Well, you can see the most important why both are popular here. Malai is pretty clear. We all know how strong they can be on water. And Dravidians also 
we start to know them pretty well. And uh, that extra carry for the fisher, fisher maps and fishing ships is huge. Also, you get 200 extra wood for free uh, when you are up to the next age. So it's great. And the Malai here being... Uh, how much is 66% faster? Up? Uh, yeah. It's a lot. It's really, really a lot. Hola, Marino. How you doing, man? Yeah, this map again is the last time. It's the last time, thanks God. And I'm not gonna be... I won't have to cast this uh, anytime soon. Hopefully. You know? Uh, the admin for the tournament told me that they have repla replaced this for Season 2. Vamos. Amazing. Ultra. Ultra 53. Hello, everyone. How you doing, guys? Thank you for doing me company today, the first day of the year. Over 1,600 viewers. Um, by the way, I have made a video on YouTube with the recap of 2022. Will be very appreciated, guys, if you check it out, the video, and give me your feedback, your thoughts about the tournaments. I will I explain there why it's very difficult and why uh, team game tournaments... Well, many things I explained there. I made the video yesterday, okay? Mm, and it will be very nice that you can check it out. So if you can make a comment, Emma, it will be appreciated. Like uh, a recap or whoever it is, Jimmy. If that's the video, exclamation mark recap, you know, and uh, put that link to the video, okay? I talk there about everything, about KOTD5, about all. The 2022 and about 2023, my thoughts and... Um, yeah, it's not too long. It's a 18-minute video, so I try to be quick and uh, explain, uh, well, my feelings and my opinions and my expectations for this 2023. All right, being said that, or that being said, five villages of wood, six. This is very easy to wall, as we all know, and uh, it's going to be a lot, again, about the water, probably. <coughs> we saw in the previous series how with Dravidian's um, land play this so smooth. I don't know how smooth it's going to play now Husiel. Lan is a better player. That's for sure. I'm sorry for, for Husiel, but uh, he shouldn't be ashamed because Lan is a better player than many players. You know? Uh, but let's see how smooth he will play. Lan did very well. And now we need to see how Gavi is going to make it with Malai. With that 66% faster up, you should definitely take the advantage and try to sneak or, I don't know, go aggressive. Yeah, but we have to wait because it is slow, man. It is very, 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 very slow. Well, you make the houses here. It's going to go up. Yep, not yet. Now it's up very quick. Really, really quick. Five villages, okay. And... All right. Sending two villages forward, probably. But why without the scout? That's something that I don't understand. You need to go with the scout. Blue can see it. No, miss it. Going to for the uh, for the corner probably, uh, right? And well, this is quite repetitive. This uh, map is is like this, you know. You drop the dog now, and blue will drop the dog as well. He should kill the villager. You can't kill. Oh God! If denied this one, oh, oh, he's not gonna deny it. I think. Oh, maybe he will. But why this? I don't understand this. He's gonna try to kill? Maybe he's gonna take a villager. Okay. Don't understand this approach. Now he's doing the dock. And both villages are... Okay. One is idling. Here, the other is at the back. All good. 
And doing a fire galley. In seven seconds, he will have the second dock, okay? And not a dock in front. So why he did this? I have no clue. I like this. He's gonna take it. Uh, heal advantage. Oh! That was cool. That was very good, but... You can't lose the transport. Losing the transport that early is terrible, actually. He's gonna repair that one or not? Oh my god. Oh my lord. Seriously. Oh! This is micro, man. What is this micro? Anyway, no transport now, so you can't barely do villages. If you do, you might lose those. He will need a transport again. He's not doing villages anyway. And red? He's doing and has to transport them. Another dog. And he's not creating villages anymore. Who's CL? 1 minute 40 seconds idle TC. Doesn't make any sense to me. He's gonna delete the TC or what? I have no clue. Three, four, a demo, another demo. He has three dogs already. Will Barrow, after two minutes and 20 seconds idle TC, Will Barrow, just make the Will Barrow to two minutes and 20 seconds ago. Oh man. Winners of this match don't play against anyone. Winners of this match qualify to the Gold League. This is qualification to the league with uh, the strong players, you know? The stronger players. Ooh. For, for give you an idea, players like Islam are in the Gold League this year, this, uh, this season, you know? So imagine. Amigos. I think Bakhti is also in the Gold League. Or not. Or Bakhti is in the Platinum. No, no. Bakhti is in Platinum, I think. I'm not sure. I need to check. I mean, he has two dogs. Which is ridiculous. Your opponent has three dogs. But you can't win this. Gabi has already nine villages more. This is good. This is good. I mean, this is really good. It can do something here. We'll see. Now he's doing the barrack, so he won't... Wow. The thing here is doing the barrack and going for arches too. It's going to make that dude require a huge multitasking. What is he doing? Okay, I mean, you go with a villager and not don't take one, two, three houses. You take this one, and now you don't move. Okay, and now you move when this is two HP. Makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, so many galleys here. Five galleys and uh, one demo. You have to be careful. He's gonna take this one. There is the demo, and he's killing all. And please resign. Por tu padre. Retírate! Okay, he's doing the archie range now. But, uh, okay. It's true that now he has... Oh, maybe it's not over. I mean, if the population is only double. He's gonna make a tower or something? Well, Gabi... Guys, Gabi right now has the water, but... One on food, you know? I mean, the macro, the macro is just, it's just insane right now. Keep doing more galleys. He has villages on the, on the TC. Yes, now he's going to have idle TC Gabby forever. What is this, man? Oh my God. He's now doing the tower. <laughs> 30 population, 47, 22 villages, 37. But Gabby is sit on wood, sit on foot, and everything idle. Unbelievable. You know? 
Seriously unbelievable. I don't see too many already. Yeah, why no farmers or I mean a meal, I mean something. Vili idol here sees already like uh, panic controlling this water, alright. Eight villages here. He need to transport this and then uh, delete the TC or something. I don't know. He's going now for the mill, but yes, he, he has no army, so this can be annoying forever. I don't know. It's crazy right now. Yeah, idle TC three minutes in a row. Now he's gonna move those. Don't show it, man. Well, the the dog can't see it. Transport is gonna be bye bye. Look at the demo. Shoot, shoot. Eh, it wasn't the best, but still. And now lose all this. Well, population keep getting closer, which is crazy, right? It's gonna make another dog. Seriously? Oh my god. The map is terrible, guys. I'm sorry. I know that uh, you might uh, hate me and say, hey, man, you're a hater. You say it already, but... It is... It's just a bad map, man. Like... Uh, it's true that the players are playing bad. You know, you can play this map a lot better and make this a lot more enjoyable to watch. That's also correct. I mean, it's... It's completely truth, too. Because... Has been five minutes idle TC when you are 20 bullets ahead, make no sense. Now he's only seven ahead. Okay. He needed another transport. He's gonna go more fire galleys. He has only two bullets on goal. Only two on goal. When you have 500 on wood, you just make another mining camp. Now he's here with the skirmishers. And uh, Gabby has a barrack, but then never made an archie range. So. He can't defend against this. Well, he can't fight with villagers. Okay. Finally, more villagers on goal. Well, if Gabi is still playing like this, she might lose the game. Well, who shall now sit on food as well? All right. Ooh, got the galley and now the other. So annoying, he's chasing with billions, man. Unbelievable, why no RT ranges? Double Barak, whoa! Double Barak is the way to go. Okay, see, notice, nice. RT range. Okie dokie. And now more farms. Or, or better say, farms in the middle of the map. Moving villages. okay. 31, 39. Seven minutes idle, five minutes idle. This game, but you can be in 30 minutes and then they have 30 villages. And they keep trying. Difficult to finish because they don't have army. So the players keep trying because they feel like, hey, I can't recover. Yeah, but now Gabi should be in a huge position. Why? He has an archie range at home with archers and another archie range forward. Finally, he deleted the TC, man. And doing the tone center at home. Obviously, it's okay decision, but you fall even more behind than what you are. And uh, that should be the game. They are not going... He's probably not going to give up, but... Yeah, there's many things to focus, that's for sure. Yeah, but the problem here is that you don't really get great economy. Uh-oh! If you lose the water now... Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. The demo, the demo, the demo. The demo, the demo, the demo. Split. Huh? He'll try and recover, but he can't. He can't. Doing another demo now. He's going to repair. He can't send the villages. 32, 49. 
It's a guy in, like, a lot of it is different. Got it. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And now the artist that he has fletching now. So many idols for both players. A stable. Now Gabby is stable. Okay, 17, 18 on food. Finally having some, some good food income. Now the blast with minute 27. And uh, the game is about to finish. I hope so. Because it's a, a, a chaos. A brutal chaos. Pletching is huge. And now with few arches and a couple of scouts. He's housed. Go, go, go. Gabby is adapting really, really better now. And well, he got the advantage from the start. The arches are here now with Fletching. It's domination. It's domination and Gabby's going to be leading 2-1. And we might be sad because remember it's the last time we see this map. One volley down. Coming now with the scouts. The scout will take the skirmisher. And then with the archers you dominate completely. Yeah, Blue can't do anything anymore. Score difference is growing and growing. And now with the archers just take the skirm. Got it. And now it's, it's pure snowball because the population difference is brutal. Blasmith. And Husiel. Has no chances in this game. Uh, micro, micro, micro. He's doing a mill. I'm gonna take the farmers. Okay. Well, he can come with more arches now and take the Lambriax if he see it. A mill here? What the hell? <laughs> One really lonely. The wood is here, but they didn't see it. The hell, man. Going full of scouts even now. Okay. Another archery range. All right. Gonna go with the scouts or not? Coming with more archers. Yeah, the scouts are in now. Those skirmishes are bye-bye. And please, QCL, let's move on to the next game. You have seed on food, seed on gold, 600 wood. The score difference is just crazy now. You are getting raided big time. I think he should be careful. Oh, still doesn't see it. He's not micro improperly because he's focused too much on this. Find it and, and then the destruction is going to be... Ooh, ooh. Okay. One village only, but everything is idle. How do you expect really to come back in this kind of situation, seriously? I don't know. Anyway, the game keep going, doing a fire galley here. And now moving. Yeah, just look at the resources, guys, from blue. Look at blue resources. Unbelievable, 1k wood, zero food, zero gold. Let's go, baby. Gonna mine more gold. Still buying with the market now some resources. And uh, he's doing the market now. Mining stone, more archers. Didn't kill anything. All right. But Castle Age. Oof. The game is going to be over, guys. These games are very hard to cast. Like, really, really hard to cast. Because you know that the game is full 100% over. The players keep trying forever, you know, like forever. And except that one is reaching castle, it's like it's going to happen now with Gabi. You know that the since the map is so big, the player will never quit. Now he's doing a tower there, 22 on wood. Now a few villages on foot. Starting to make farmers there. Okay. Now horse collar, he did will borrow a long time ago. It's the only advantage that probably he has. Coming with some arches, those arches are without fletching, by the way. So they are not gonna do too much. 
And now Castleage. And he called the GG. Thanks God. I thought he was going to keep going. Well. Um, Husiel Dravidians lost the game super early. Uh, Gabi gave gave a little bit of a chance because it was bad with the macro there, but the advantage was too big. He got the water easily. I mean, he did three dogs, and then he wasn't even reacting. He chased the village with with his own village as well, and yeah, it couldn't do the job, you know. KD even killed more, but the economy, the economy was ridiculous. Really ridiculous, you know. And 20 villages more. Gabi, one victory away to qualify. All right. Next game, amigos. That is going to be... A much better map. Serengeti, amigos. Serengeti. I'm going to go to the bathroom a moment and be right back, okay? Be right back. Super quick. Artificial love, we just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, we just mess it up Cause we already lost Addicted to the rush I never meant to fall All I wanted was a touch of artificial love We just make it up Cause reality will never be good enough And even if it was, we just mess it up Artificial love Artificial love Artificial love, we just make it up Just mess it up Cause we already lost I took you to the rush I never meant to fall All I wanted okay. was a touch Cause we already lost Vamos amigos Vamos amigos And uh Game number four is gonna be Serengeti Yeah Till defeated. Hopefully, the hopefully the game. This game is gonna be better. The cities are not being that great. Yeah, the cities was overall a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit weak. But the last game worth, worth because it was a strong, you know was very very strong and nice gonna get now the recorded games i was telling you hard versus jibaton guys let me just check the maps without houseboat serengeti cross arabia fortified clearing and ravines mr yo doing the doing the draft my goodness yeah mr yo doing the draft for forever my god Okay, I'm getting the Rex. <coughs> okay. Love the 1440p. Yeah, 
The 1440p is the new quality of the channel. I have a 1440p uh, monitor. Well, I have a 4K monitor, but Twitch doesn't really let 4K, but it lets 14p. And then I'm always playing or casting in 14p resolution, not in 4K. Because Are it's you feeling too, too better? Big. Happy New Year, member and everyone. I'm okay. Thank you so much for the nine moons. Thank you so much, amigos. I'm gonna see now Hart versus Zivaton. Ravines is the first map. All right, let's go for it. Okay, give me. Let me. Let me just check a moment. One thing. Before we keep going. Guys, I am in my in my 1080p monitor. 1080p. I don't have 14p in my streaming PC. And I'm watching I'm watching right now my, my channel in 14p in my 1080p monitor. Because as you know, if you don't have that resolution in your monitor, you are watching in 1080p. So there's no problem. You don't have to select anything. I'm just watching right now in my second monitor here. And it say 14p source. And I'm watching properly. Just in 1080p resolution. So that's your 1080p. I just wanted to check before. Because maybe oh, people cannot watch if you don't have the monitor. Of course you can watch at the, uh, at the source resolution. Anyway, this, the resolution is not going to switch. I'm not going to change it back. I apologize for those that, don't, that get problems. But you can find a solution easily. Everything worked perfectly. Yeah, it works perfectly fine. Game two, Arabia. Let's go. Okay. That's not try hard. That's crazy. Well, how you doing, guys? Happy New Year. How you spend yesterday? Did you be with? Do you were with family, with uh, with friends? What do you prefer to do in uh, in the? Um, Oh, now, now we're going to see something cool. What do you like to, to do? What is the, what you do on the, on the 31? Because here in Spain, usually the 24 is for family and the 31, obviously when you get my age, I just want to be with family, you know, uh, with friends, I will have time to be, but there's a lot more people that in 31 is go with friends, you know, 31 December with friends, first January with family. I like to be with family. I'm going to tell you why. Well, my parents are are like everyone, you know, is, is getting older and I want to enjoy with them as much as I can. And uh, on 24, I am with my family a lot in low and 31 with my family. So at the end, it's family, man. And family is what is going to be there for you all the time, man. The friends are going to be there too, but uh, family, at least for me, is priority number one. My daughter was yesterday so, so happy because we were like 30 people probably. I mean, we were a lot of people and we were dancing. We we're, were a lot of n n my nephews, a lot of cousins for my, for my daughter. And she was so, so happy. She was, Papi, this is so cool. She was telling to me, she was coming and coming to, to whisper me, Papi, this is so cool. So many people. I'm so happy, Papi. You know? Yeah. All right. Because we all have COVID and couldn't meet all the people. Sorry to hear, man. <coughs> okay. Uh, fortified cleaning, guys. Burgundians and Poles. Talking about broken sieves or overrated sieves. What do you think? Is Poles overrated? Is Burgundians overrated? I mean, uh, favorite civilizations here? Which one is favorite here for you? Oh, come on. Because, man. Tiramis. Tiramis, Tiramis. How you doing, man? Do you like it, the quality or not? I know that you appreciate this kind of stuff. Huh? I love it. I know, man. I know. I will. Uh, we will have some Discord if you want. But you can imagine what I did, right? 
you, you, you can imagine what I did to, to bring the quality on the stream, right, Mr. Tiramis? You know. Camera look, makes you look 10 years younger? Not really. It's that I save it. Because if I look close and you see all these white wrinkles and, oh man, disaster, man. Disaster. I hate Burgundian so much. Why do you hate Burgundian so much? Love your tree. You know that tree? It was for the old job of my, my wife. You know? They didn't want that tree and uh, my wife take it. Bam! You know? Yeah. I'm going to be using... I mean, it looks nice also as a background, but I'm not going to use the whole year. It's going to be only till the Christmas are gone. And you might think Christmas are gone. Well, here in Spain, the Christmas... Period is gone when the three kings come. That is on 6th January. After that, then we finish, you know. We finish. Game three, guys. Let's move on. We were expecting maybe a long, a long game, but it uh, didn't work, man. Didn't work, amigos. Okay. Game four, cross. What the hell are these guys? They are not bad. 2.5k both. One second. Yeah, I was just taking some pictures that that my <laughs> that my family sent. <laughs> I will show you some pictures later. But I love my daughter, guys. I love my daughter. With the glasses, I looks much older, man. Okay. Okay. See. Okay, get him, igual. Yeah. Qué guapa está tu hija, visto? Eh? Tiene cara de estar refriadilla. Well, I will show you more pictures later, guys. Let's keep going. Game number four. Mem, how frequent do you go to the gym? Every day, from Monday to Friday. Not the last week because I has been sick, but uh, I will be back on the third. Not tomorrow because I'm not 100% yet, but on Tuesday, I will be back to the gym. Game number four. I'm doing a pause, guys, because right now... Uh, the uh, the Twitch is playing an ad. Since this is recorded games, we can wait for people that is not subscriber. I don't want people miss this part of the game. Hey, the ads, well, 
we need to get some some income, the streamers. Otherwise, we cannot stream, you know? <clears throat> you can watch live or record it. It's a burger, a chicken burger. It's a healthy one, it's fine. Follow me. Maybe I could beat you in a fight. Good for you. In five seconds, we continue. Okay. <clears throat> 